Hi, I'm Goodley. Today I'm going to make a video to show you how to treat um, shell rot in turtles and terrapins. It's quite a common uh, affliction for animals kept in captivity uh, due to a number of reasons. It can be water salinity, cleanliness, diet, or lack of UV um, and improper heating can cause the shell to deteriorate and rot. Now, in here, I've already got that tank. This is Freya. She's a Carolina Diamondback, Malaclemis terribly centrata. Uh, she came to me last year, she's already an adult. And when she came to me, she already had some shell rot. So I'll show you the, the plastron here. You can see there's a couple of patches. This is the worst patch here at the bottom. There's a patch up here, a couple of patches here. Now she's already quite way down the uh, treatment process. As you can see at the bottom of this section, that's the uh, the old rot, rotten bits of shell there that have died and started to come away through infection. But as you can see, that clear bit of white there, um, that's the new healthy growth. So she is recovering quite nicely from this condition. I'm going to show you how to, to treat that. Um, I did take it to the vets when I had her, uh, had that checked over, and this is what he's recommended. So I'm going to use these items here. Now the first thing, effectively, it's, it's an iodine solution. Providone iodine, this is a Vetasept animal care brand specifically. Um, I'll show you the label there. Now, although I bought it from the vets, um, you can buy this online on Amazon. Um, at various solutions. This is a 7.5% strength and it looks like you can buy it for about £10 for a smaller bottle than this. So the first thing you need to do is clean any of the areas that are affected by the shell rot. So I use these cotton wool pads that I just picked up from the, uh, well, I get the idea they were, from the um, beauty section of any supermarket. There you go, do eventually. Just take your turtle, they're never going to thank you for this. Now, they don't like being on the back for extended periods of time. It affects their lungs and makes it difficult for them to breathe. Try and keep this to a minimum. But, clean all the infected areas of shell rot. This will disinfect and get, kill the bacteria. So there is some on the plaster and there is a couple of smaller pieces on the carapace that are nowhere near as bad. She does, she has got some retained scoops as well, so they're gonna need a brush off. So, right, she doesn't like it. She's got strong back feet. She is um, an estuary dwelling animal, so they live in the uh, river estuaries at the mouth of the ocean. Um, they are strong swimmers, they have got strong back feet. This is a female as well, so they're built for digging in the sand during breeding, so she'll kick it. Right, so that's the ID solution applied. Next thing that I use is uh, this stuff here. Now it's called Flamazine Cream, um, but effectively it is a silver-based antiseptic ointment. Again, you can buy it from Amazon. Um, I've had a look since. It's often sold for horses or for um, affecting and clean, treating wounds and burns. It's quite a, a low level antiseptic cream that you can just buy. So, again, if I just uh, show you on the camera, just get it into the wounds there, plenty on. Make sure it covers all the areas. And this will just give an antibiotic effect. It will help to clean and kill any bacteria and encourage the shell growth. Doesn't hurt her, none of this is hurting her at all. Um, they do have nerves in the shells, but this process is completely painless. It's just, she doesn't like being picked up, as you can imagine. To her, we're just a big predator. So it's all the areas of shell rock covered. Um, it's as simple as that. So I'll put her back in the tub now. She's a bit of an escape artist, this one. So I'm gonna put the lid on. And I will leave her uh, in that tub now for about half an hour to 40 minutes to let the cream really take effect um, and kill any of the germs. Then she'll go back into a tank, which is over here. It's important if they've got shell rot, 
um, to keep the water clean, keep the bacterial infections out. Um, in addition, because she is a diving back therapy, can be kept in fresh water or brackish water, um, but specifically with her, I've been keeping her brackish now because the salt is hard to kill any bacteria in the water. And she's making a nice recovery. So, there you go. Hope you found it beautiful. Thank you.